What is good? We're back and we have some player trade values, must buys, must sells, all the keywords for your pleasure, for your thumbnail pleasure. All right, boys are back. Got full tripod. We're going to talk some wide receivers on this show. We got Chris Godwin, little Deontay Johnson, some T Higgins for your pleasure. Uh, and, and these guys can really go either way, just like Jason. Um, <laughs> Got him. Wanted to come on here and talk about these guys. Not T, but to lead off with Godwin and Deontay Johnson. They're doing well. And just like, you know, a lot of situations in fantasy football, we can make the list of must do this and must do that. But, you know, everybody's got a different situation. So it's different for everybody. Nobody, if, if you're crushing, you don't want to sell Chris Godwin. But right. if you're holding Chris Godwin, it is the perfect time you sell Chris Godwin and things aren't going well and you're a rebuilder and, and now yeah he's the number one wide receiver great time to sell if you don't need him to help you beat win a championship right so Chris Godwin currently you know we had question marks right we had we didn't know what to make of this Bucks offense Baker was a great value all the Bucks are great values well maybe except for Rashad White yeah that remains to be seen and we told you to stay off of that yeah well uh, Bucky Irving Sean Tucker <laughs> <laughs> fuck Tucker Tucker sucks <laughs> little George Carlin for you but those questions were, you know, they were legitimate. Could, mm-hmm. could Baker do it again? You're losing Canales. Canales has been the, the spark plug in a lot of different situations. Yeah, quarterback whisperer is gone. Yeah, OC's moving on. And, and is, is the next man up going to be able to slide in there? A ton of continuity over there, right? They, they, they figured out ways to bring the, this whole team back here and run this thing back. And, they, they, you know, they've got a good team. We just weren't sure if, if it was going to be, you know, we, Canales leaves will see the special elixir and I think he was a big part of getting this team going in the right direction for them at post Brady uh, the new OC is doing a great job and they move Chris Godwin back to the slot seems to have made a huge difference in or at least more back in the slot I think he's like 60% in the sure. slot right now sure uh, but it's leading to tight end one or uh, yeah tight end one wide receiver one overall right now <sighs> sounds good fifth in target share with 27.5% 12th in targets per route run, 0.29. His yards per route run, 2.85. That's good for number six. First in receptions. Fifth in team yard percentage. That's the receiving market share with 34.3%. Rashi Rice still seventh for you scoring at home. You know, make, make, make sure you uh, his, his value. You got to trade. Good. Just, just get a first for him. Any first. Idiots. <laughs> um, third in yak per reception, 3.33. 10th in first read percentage, 34.8. Third in first down per route run, 0.162, which is, those are two big stats that the uh, analytical community has got a lot of weight on right now. And third in fantasy points per route run, and he's got 20.7 fantasy points per game. So, bunch of good stuff for Godwin. It's not a Fugazi, not a Fugazi. Definitely that, that not. This is going on, and, and you know, we, we had some questions, and those questions have since been mostly answered from from Chris Godwin and the Bucks, and you know Mike Evans is still doing his thing. Maybe not quite where Mike Evans was last year, but Mike Evans is still playing well. Uh, the running backs are, are probably playing better than they did last year. Defense is a little banged up, but Chris Godwin is is somebody who you know last year you were you were probably struggling to get a whole lot of value on, right? Hundred percent. And, and so you know that just tells you that sometimes if they're not a thousand years old, which Godwin was twenty seven last year, right? Mm-hmm. So. I would he wouldn't be somebody that I had to feel I can't get anything for him I'm just going to sell him for peanuts he's a guy that I probably held on to in a lot of places where I was rebuilding uh, unless I could get proper value for him and now that could pay dividends or if you're somebody who lost Rashi Rice who again was you know tight end wide receiver one two or three on any given week Chris Godwin could be the the itch that you're that could scratch your needs right Oh man, for sure. Uh, yeah, I sold Chris Godwin in this off season in a super flex Idiot. league for a first round pick, <laughs> and it was a. I mean, I think I got either the one eight or the one nine, and happy as I could be at the time. I don't know who I would have needed to draft there to be anywhere close to this value now. You know, like the number one wide receiver. I mean, that's may or may not even be taken into account. This thirty six point game God, he just has is it? Yeah, I think it's so. All. 
Uh, maybe we're, not, not. we're not scoring in newspapers anymore, big guy. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, sleeper but, uh, player listed as number two. They may not be taken into account that. Yeah, but on fantasy because points of, data, he's number gotcha. one because on fantasy the, points. The, because the game tonight's game's not over, it might not be all you know tabulated. Yeah. Perfectly. Shout out uh, fantasy points data. You guys good are uh, data doing, sweet. doing some good good work over there. If you want to give us a couple bucks, a couple miles, we'll take a couple. Yeah. <laughs> you know this thing ain't cheap, and and you know <laughs> you're getting getting a lot of free pub over here. So. A lot of run. Shoot we, me an email. And we know you're watching if you want to get better at dying. Hit me on the line. Let's uh, shoot them an email. Or get, you shoot, we'll shoot you an email. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming your way, bub. It's headed your way. Uh, like you, Just like you said when you got started, like Chris Godwin, and this kind of goes back to just like we were talking about some of, the, some of the other running backs we talked about. He's a perfect buy or sell. Mm-hmm. You know, If you need to buy an old-ish receiver to help you win a championship, I can't think of a better name right now. Yeah. I mean, um, we, we, we talked about this, I don't know, maybe two weeks ago. And I, I said, you know, if I was a good team, I might buy. For, I might sell my first. And you said, ah, I, don't, I don't know if I'm, if I'm willing to give that I because wasn't. you don't want to. I was It's early. A million reasons. But yeah. now. Yep. I, I, I did say I wanted I want to keep my first as long as possible because I mean if you're one right. trade if you're if you're one you trade away from, Russian roulette with the right. first if you're one trade away from not being awful you don't need to be buying an agent wide receiver anyway mm-hmm. you know if if just if if you're a really really good team and you lost Nico and you're like all right well he's coming back and if I could buy somebody right now I got you know I'm I'm first in my wide in my win loss column and I'm a second in total points and I just lost Nico. But he's going to come back. He's not, you know, done for the year like like Rice. And I can go buy Chris Godwin, and then Nico comes back, and now I've, you know, I've really got some horses. That's that's the kind of team you need to be buying, Chris Godwin. You know, if you have two good players and they've been killing it, but you only have two good players, you probably don't need to be buying right. Chris Godwin. Right. So how about like because of what happens if either a Chris Godwin gets hurt or one of your other only two good players? If you got a loaded team. And they've been kind of quote unquote underperforming. They'd be a good person to go out and get Godwin because it's early in the season and you can still make some serious moves. How about somebody like Keon Coleman and a first for Godwin right now? I mean, that sounds like you're paying a lot, but I mean, if that's what it does, I'm looking at it from the perspective of if I'm a guy who's selling, things are going really well for me right now. That might be something that I need. To, hey, I can get the younger piece and yeah, a pick. I, I get so it. That might be that might be like I would I would assume that's kind of a realistic option out there right now it doesn't sound horrible i mean i'm gonna try to give away keon coleman and two twos mm-hmm. you know? i see two twos i see a lot of firsts there's a lot of cheap godwin so far i mean and i guess some of these are a day ago so it might have been like yesterday morning yeah. or sunday morning before he has a another, another, another game, good but, game but, yeah. but exactly what casey was saying what and that's why i make mean, a first is i mean two twos was today that's ridiculous what are y'all doing well, but I mean, if you but the well, same guy, the same guy selling Chris <laughs> Godwin couldn't get anything for him for two years. Yeah, yeah, you no, know? D- yeah, so correct. That's that's the situation. You know, you, you couldn't get anything for him for two years, and now he's twenty eight. So it's yeah. like you you get out now, or maybe you don't get out. But I, the, what's happened here, like two weeks ago, I wasn't ready necessarily to give a late first for him. That's because I'm late to the party on Baker. She was my first and agent. I need <laughs> I need to see something. I thought he said Asian right? wide receiver. He said aging wide receiver. <laughs> Asian, <laughs> not too many Asian wide receivers running around. If you think about it, uh, you know I, Godwin's dad could be an expat, spend some time over in Japan. Who knows? On the road at New Orleans in a tough division game, you know the New Orleans Saints—they want to play good defense sometimes. Yeah, goes out and has his best game of the year. Mm. Um, he looks awesome out there right now. Yeah, and, and I just so I, I, if you got a chance to if you got a chance to let it cool off next week, they play Baltimore. Mm-hmm. So maybe there's your ball. Maybe there's your cool off week right there. So maybe you don't buy him after a 36 point game. Let's act like we've been here before, mm-hmm. you know, so maybe you give it one more week, let him cool off a little bit against Baltimore. If he doesn't cool off, it's not going to go up anymore. He's just had 36 points, guys. Right. He's the wide receiver one. So, <laughs> yeah. he's gonna, you know, the cat's right <laughs> out of the back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I, I let him have a cool off week and then I go try to buy him if I need him. Yeah, no, I, like I said, I wanted to bring him up because he's he, a couple of these guys can help you win now. Or if you've been holding, I, we can kind of get both sides of the, the bag here on on where you're going. All right, so oh, that's bag bag. That's a, that's a trigger word. Drink. That was a different reason though. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I'm still contextualized <laughs> drinking words. <laughs> Hey guys, a quick reminder to head over to patreon.com/slash/the-ff-dynasty to sign up for a free membership to get access to the free Discord channel. 
or hit your boys with the $5 holler and get access to extra shows, mock drafts, roster reviews, ADP, and player pages. All for your pleasure. All right, let's keep it moving. Let's go to another one right now who started slow but is coming along. Deontay Johnson. The Red Rifle has come in and, and saved your fantasy output. Saved Canales' job. for uh, Well, Canales was at least getting one more year. Definitely. But Deontay he Johnson. He didn't draft young. Sorry. Deontay, <laughs> right. Deontay <laughs> Johnson is coming out here and, and producing. And, and these numbers that I'm about to spout off are not filtered from like the last three weeks or whatever after mm-hmm. we had two just dreadful first few weeks there with with Bryce still at the helm and and you know is Andy going to come in and be the savior for this franchise absolutely not is he Baker Mayfield no but what he can do is make your fantasy players relevant and make this team competitive week in week out now they played the Bears two weeks ago and the Bears got a good D so the Bears the Bears got a good D the Bears uh you know put it on the red rifle and and turned them back into the old uh the old BB gun air. <laughs> <laughs> the red BB gun. So, you know, that's going to happen. It is what it is. But Deontay Johnson in all other contests has been really good. He's at 14% target share or uh, 14th in target share at 25.5%. 18th in air yard share. Got 15th, but whatever. 18th in air yard share, 37.5. 19th uh, in targets per route run. 11th in team yard percentage, 28 point four percentage tenth and td percentage 42.9 first in end zone targets seventh and first read target percentage uh 35.9 percent and then 33rd and first downs per route run you know not excellent in that category but i'm sure if we skewed down to you know the last few the weeks red rifle those, weeks those could get even better right sure and, and so deontay johnson is going out here and you know after i played him a few weeks in a row here. I got, got you a five there, I think, in one of those weeks against the Bears. At the Bears. But, you know, has been solid week in, week out. And was a favorite of God, you know, Godwin, Deontay Johnson, favorite buys in the offseason of ours. Obviously, Hollywood Brown was another one. That didn't work out. But these guys are playing at a high level right now, and both are really helping your team. But, again, both could really go either way. So if, if, you're, if you're looking to get out, Deontay Johnson right now, like I'm a competitor in those leagues that I was talking about in the last show. I'm five and one. Uh, I'm, I'm ready to go. You know, I, I'm buying Deontay Johnson and, you know, I, I don't think he would be he's going to be anywhere near as expensive as Chris Godwin, but he's had s- giant games. It's just they're not, uh, you know, he's not wide receiver one. Well, he took the first two weeks off, as did the Panthers. Right. You know, so like you said, you didn't filter for the first two weeks when Bryce Young was in there before they swapped in the red rifle. But those two weeks he had three points, three point nine and four and a half. And so mad. And then Red Rifle comes in and, you know, you say he didn't, he's not the franchise savior and he's obviously not the franchise savior, but the first two weeks without him, they scored 10 points in a blowout and they scored three points in a blowout. And so Red Rifle comes in there and they score 36 and win. They score 24 to lose. They score 10 to lose at the Bears. And then this week they score 20 against a good Falcons defense. So they completely turned around what they had going on offensively. And outside of going on the road to Chicago and playing against that tight Bears defense, like they've been completely opposite of what they started the first two weeks. And so, yeah, you can still we can have all the jokes about Andy that we want to. But in the three out of four weeks that he's played with Andy, he scored 20 points, you know, 26 in week three, 21 in week four. They go to the Bears and they get walloped and he only gets six points. But then this week against the Falcons, he has six for 78 and a touch. So that's 13 and six more. So 19 something points. So he has 20 points again, you know, and, and next week they go at Washington. So probably another good, you know, gettable defense. So probably you can go now you can have back to back good games and, and four out of five good games. And, and you can really have something to shop to try to get out from under your De- Deontay Johnson um, or. Or, the other side be buying him to try to be winning games because I want this guy in my lineup if I can because I, I think, you know, regardless of who they're playing, he's been putting up big numbers. Sure. And, and obviously we project a long way to get down this far, but as fifth weeks 15 and 16, he goes against the Cowboys and Zona, and neither one of those teams has a defense. And in week 17, it is at Tampa, but they don't have the craziest defense either. So, you know, there's a lot to be said about him, you know, about – going 10 more weeks before you get there and you know but i don't i don't think there's any 
right. I mean, I don't think there's any way you can put ABC together and figure out that Bryce Young's coming back in. Right. Right. Not no, this year. No shot. You know, and it's Andy Dalton or bust for the Panthers, and that means that that you know and they are one in five. It doesn't make terrible sense to bring him back, but 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 I mean, you know, would would Andy in there for 14 targets and 13 targets, six targets against Chicago because they got shut down and then 10 targets. So you got double digit targets three out of the four weeks with with Andy Dalton in there throwing you to rock. And as for a wide receiver that's you didn't either a not paying much for or B, you didn't probably pay a lot to get him on your team. To begin also, with. first and end zone targets there. I like it. <laughs> Not Bring bad. It back. It's a call back. There you go. Call it back. I just, you know, like the, he's getting a ton of targets and then he's getting high value targets in the red zone. This is what we want. They said this offense was going to be built around in the first two weeks. Their offense wasn't built around anything. No. And, and now it's coming to fruition. And now you do have availability to sell and you also have availability to buy. Both of these guys could help you and their production right now is helping you to to get off of them if you if you want to be able to get off of them. So that's that's kind of the theme for the first two guys. And then the last guy, what, maybe not necessarily, but you want to hit some of these trades. I mean, a two sure. all day for Deontay, right? right? Yeah. I mean, you got it. Even if you don't need him, you can give a two and get him back and but have I mean, him there's, in a there's different a, there's package. A trade two and today. a three. There's, it says Jawan Jennings and a, and a, and a first. first for and a two Deont- QB? Deontay Johnson, right? So you weren't sniffing that. So no, that, I'm taking now, the first. I, I, right. I'm just saying. But like, you weren't sniffing that to begin I'm with. I'm saying yeah, now your, like yeah. that we're looking at both sides to yeah. give you the value of where you could be, wh- what you would do for one and what you would do for the other. You know, Deontay and the two, I, I've, give me that on all my four and one teams. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Five and one team. You know yeah. what I mean? A lot of Garrett Wilson being sold. Maybe he's a good buy here for well, we, sure. Well, I Been on him for a while. Talked too late. A few weeks ago. I know. I know. He's slaying it right now. He's got eight for 100 and a touch tonight. Mm. Deontay for two fours and a two. Sure. Just Brooks like, um, for Deontay and a two. Probably keeping Brooks there. Oh, for sure. Two QB. Got to hold on to that, too. Yeah. I mean, Jonathan Brooks, you couldn't have traded Jonathan Brooks. I don't know when you drafted Jonathan Brooks, but when a, a lot of times he was a first-round pick. So it's basically trading Deontay Johnson for a first-round pick. Yeah. Ramondre for Deontay? Who's trading away Jonathan Brooks right now if you drafted him? He ain't even played yet. <laughs> That's a, no. And the Panthers are showing life over there. Chuba's look at what, fucking crushing. Chuba's it. slaying it. You got Jonathan I wanted to Brooks. talk about Chuba so bad this week, but I refrained. <laughs> we'll get to Thank him. God. <laughs> we'll get to him. Ramondre for Deontay? Deontay. I'll take Deontay. Yeah. Yeah. So he's obtainable. Nice he's bottle obtainable. of Deontay. <laughs> what else we got? All right. Let's uh let's keep it moving. Let's go T. Higgins. And let's do it. I went I went with this with obviously he missed the first two and then the fir- the third one, he was just kind of, you know, kind of getting back in the swing of things. Mm-hmm. Uh wasn't a great game. But if you filter by four weeks four, five, six, right? He's wide receiver five. Wowzers. 18.7 points. Ninth in first down per route run. And this is, again, weeks four through five or four through six. His first read target percentage, 36.6%. That's fifth. Twelfth in target percentage, 25.7. 16th in air yard share, 38.19. 0.27 targets per route run, 23rd. So just crushing a bunch of very strong analytical categories all the while while Chase is doing his thing, right? Chase is a reclaimed status, right? There you we're, go. We're, right, we're we're back. Everyone's okay now with mm-hmm. Chase being a top two, top three receiver. We're good. We're right. We're everybody in the room. Yeah. Okay. Chase. I yeah. mean, he yeah. never was left that for us. He's so ridiculous when he gets the ball in his hands. But T, you know, probably not long for the the Bengals here. You mm-hmm. know, they're gonna have to keep Chase, but I don't think they can keep T. So it's a bummer for you know, me. Maybe I want him to stay. Maybe a little Yoshi Voss, Burton, uh, cheap pickups here. So bonus for your pleasure. Uh, moves to make right now. Um, but I, I mainly wanted to talk about T. Higgins because I know Big Co's not a huge T. Higgins guy. Uh, but he's coming out here. He, he's played really well through three games. The Bengals offense is playing really well through three games. Bengals are humming. Joe Burrow looks, you know, I, he, he said himself the wrist isn't all the way back, but he knows Can't that tell. with ligament things that it's going to take time for him to get back there. It looks fine. He said he doesn't have everything on it that he wants on it right now. But I think I think Joe Burrow has looked excellent through sure. pretty much the entire season, regardless if it's wins or losses. And it might not be tied to T. Higgins, but I really just wanted to figure out what the player value was on T. Higgins for you, I, and then, of course, the Clemson Tiger over here. Buy at all costs. T, T's been great. Probably going to end up somewhere else. Where, where that is next year, I don't know. 
everyone was scared to death that it would be Carolina. I don't, I don't know that that'll be the case moving forward. So let's, let's, let's let me, give me your thoughts on, on kind of T Higgins to round this show out here, because I'm, I, I feel like T's value has just steadily declined to a point where it's very obtainable for a potential, like, I'm not going to say an elite asset, but a very, very good asset who's had proven big chunks of, of runs here. Now, obviously tied to Joe Burrow and a very good thing. You don't know where they're going next, but you know, sure. potentially, yeah. you know, let's say the Patriots pick up T Higgins next year. Are you that yeah. upset about it? Yeah, I mean, not no, not not with Drake May. I mean, that's a good point. Like you know, when you when you leave in free agency, when wide receivers leave in free agency, more often than not, they go to a struggle. Like if they're like the top wide receivers go to a team's or a quarterback situation that's not as good as where they left. Mm-hmm. More often than not, especially if they're good, they got they most of the times they were good because it with the, with a good quarterback and the elite ones usually don't change teams. Or at least until they're later on their career, like Devontae Adams type thing, you know. So, like a 25 year old T. Higgins to see him be as good as he's been and not get a second co- contract is kind of not normal. And it's not out of the question. I mean, if the Bengals sell a couple more used TVs, they might be able to keep them. They're just like the the, one of the cheaper franchises <laughs> that question. exists. But I they, mean, they, they, they have to turn Chase. that around. They went they, to the Super Bowl. You can figure it out. That you could, but they won't because they, they could. They, they're cheap. They won't in the past, but like no, but they got they've just they pay they're paying Joe Burrow sixty million dollars a year, bro. They're not, and they got to. I don't. Chase. I don't think they are either. They're, 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 they're definitely just, not playing T Higgins. That's, he'll I feel he'll get more money than they can pay him. Exactly, and he'll earn it. He'll earn more money than they want to pay him. I mean, Brandon Ayuk just got twenty eight million dollars a year. T Higgins Terrible about contract. to go get paid, right? So anyway, that you know the really good. He's really really good. And they don't normally change. Yeah, the Raiders teams. are going to have an he's, open spot. He's you know, leaving some... Joe Burrow. Mm-hmm. You don't. You don't get better than that. You go downhill, and especially if you go to the Raiders or you go to the Panthers, they're starting over. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's fantasy. But, well, but you know, go, the number one to, guy. You go to somewhere, you get it seventeen could targets. It could be front perception front and you seventeen know, all the, targets a game. Right. You could be Malik Neighbors then, mm-hmm. or you could get Shador Sanders, and he's good. You yeah. could get C.J. Stroud. You could get Jordan Love. You could, you know. You weren't excited about a lot of those guys until you are, right? It's a good point. Um, and I mean, it's been like to CJ Stroud, you think it's like we well, can't do that, but you can because he's on a rookie deal, and they mm-hmm. can continue. But I mean, to go I, would, I just meant as far as a rookie quarter, like if he went somewhere that was a bad team with a rookie quarterback, it could be CJ Stroud, like a CJ Washington could go to Washington. Mm-hmm. They could be paying. They could be spending some money this year. All of a sudden, they got a quarterback worth spending money on. So, is there is there any anything any value amount that would make you interested in T Higgins? Because I just you know all most of the offseason we spent it. You you normally pick the other guy. Not a huge T guy. Didn't seem so. What what say you on the value of T Higgins? Is it a, you, you paying a first for him? Yeah, I mean, I'm not an early first. Let's see some of these trades that happened today. Uh, T. Higgins and Chris Olave. I mean, he's down on both these guys. Yeah. I take Olave still. Yeah. It's hard uh, not to take Olave. It's hard. I mean, yeah. Good trade target. All, every week we come on trade target Chris Olave. Chuba Hubbard for T. Higgins all yeah, day. Throw that out. That's fake. <laughs> uh, Lamar by. Chase for Marvin Harrison and T. Higgins. Probably got to get Chase there. But, I mean, shit. Yeah, I mean, that's a good trade. Jamar Chase for Marvin Harrison, T. Higgins. That's that's a really good trade for both sides. I like that trade. T. Higgins for Odunze in a first? Y'all are going, got to get Odunze in a first, right? Yeah, I'll take Rome. Which that first. is a one QB, so. Yeah. A lot, bit, very big difference in these first round pick values when it comes to Superflex versus. I mean, Tyree Kill or T in a third? T. Yeah. Which I wouldn't have said that first, you know, before the year started. No. But yeah, I mean, you get two back exactly, and Tyreek's back up exactly and he's got a couple what, more years. I could see taking T. That's Tyreke. exactly why when we did the wide receiver rankings that we talk, I talked about and we talked about Tyreek the way we talked about. What happens when you're a 30-year-old receiver if it don't go right? Mm-hmm. You know? And it's not Tyreek's fault. His mm-hmm. quarterback goes and puts his head down at the goal line to right. try to score a touchdown. He has no business trying to score. He yeah, got the now, first. Now you know, we're just in Now we're in no man's land right now. Here. Yeah, so now you're going to waste another year. Could bounce back. He's very, supposedly coming you know, back. I think he will. Point, I mean, he'll probably be fine. He's not bouncing back without without another quarterback this year. Not with anything they got on the roster. Yeah. 
Yeah. You know? No, I mean, you have to have Tua back, obviously. That's what I'm saying. But now, I mean, I don't want to see Tua play this year again. Tyreek's not. I don't that. think Tyreek's going to want to be on Miami again at the end exactly. of the Exactly. Why would you take that chance? I mean, obviously, right. money's money. But if right. you're playing, might as well go have fun and go do it somewhere that's got a quarterback. You know, pour one out for what's going on with Tua. I don't want to mean it. Tua's a great quarterback, apparently. Yeah. Cause God, well, I mean, know, again, uh, that's, whole, that's a whole without different him. discussion. When he's right? on the field, the offense chugs down the field. He led the league in passing last year. I love that stat because I don't think he's a great quarterback, but he obviously is a fantastic quarterback because he's out and the Dolphins can't do anything. I mean, T, T for Addison, basically. I'll take T sure. still. Uh, Jaden Reed in a two or T Higgins and Jamison Williams. Oh, I got to take T and Jamison Williams. I like, yeah, I've, and I, I've, and come I, on, I've come on a long way for Jaden Reed, but I'll take the two wide receivers over the one in that spot. With those, with those two quality wide receivers, I love giving two decent players for a really good player. But in this, Josh spot, Jacobs for T, that's a good trade. That's a good trade. First for T, that's that's T. Xavier Leggett in the first for T, I'll take T. Mm-hmm. Uh, first and the third for T, I'll take T. So still some good value on T. Alec Pierce and Chase Brown, I'll first take T. and Sharps for T. Yeah, again, you know, without context, I mean, I've I've not given away any. If I got a terrible team and I got a good, you know, I got the one one coming, I'm not giving that away for T Higgins. Let me just say that because we got some really good players coming in the draft. Sam Darnold and Christian Watson or T Higgins, two quarterback. uh, I mean, gotta take Sam. I'm taking Sam Darnold. Wow. And two quarterback MVP. I'm not. I'm not saying I agree or disagree. I'm just saying. Wow. Oh, that that was was a disagree. No, 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 no. I'm just saying like where where we're at with Sam Darnold now, baby. Like it's crazy. But there was who was the other player in there? Christian Watson. Yeah, it was another player. It wasn't. It wasn't even straight up. I have a hard time with the quarterback not getting a quarterback back, especially one that's playing at a. MVP level? Of, I mean, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Sam Darnold is now I'm not besmirching Sam Darnold. I'm just. I just. It's a crazy that that's an option. That's that's. This is why Dynasty so much fun. Like, yeah, you got to hold crazy on that for that's an option. Yeah, right. Exactly. Well, Sam Darnold's not going to go to the Patriots and play at an MVP level. He's not. But he's on the Vikings playing at an MVP level. And if they go deep into the playoffs, he's starting next year. If they don't go deep into the playoffs, he's getting paid by somebody else next year. If he go, if they go to the NFC Championship game and lose, and it's not his fault, he's getting paid and he's staying. I don't care what they see in JJ McCarthy. Yeah, they're going to pay him thirty million to to stay to stay. But if he if they fizzle out and he doesn't finish as strong as he started, then they'll let him. All right, we got JJ, and we're not going to pay you thirty because we got we need to pay some players. We got Justin yeah. Jefferson. We want to pay that. We got Hawkinson. Yada yada yada. We got a rookie quarterback with a cheap deal. We're going to do some stuff on defense. Blah blah blah. We're you know, but. And if he goes somewhere, Carolina, with Dave Canales, maybe he might be all right. I mean, at this point, if, if you could just I, – I, you got a decent, like, just mediocre, bland, mid-quarterback play, and Deontay Johnson can run your – you know, run rampant with fantasy points. Why wouldn't I be excited about Canales and T. Higgins and, and, a, and a quarterback that he could pick? To go over there and, and play? Yeah. Well, you just said, wow, like that was a No, no, I, I just, I well, meant talking about Darnold going I know, I know, with Darnold, Panthers. I was still talking about T, but you Darnold can take Darnold and, and T Higgins, Higgins go to the and Panthers. go over there. Ooh, combo platter. Yeah. But I, I just said, wow, just because it just, it just took me aback that, that Christian Watson and Sam Darnold. I mean, had, Christian Watson, I hate to say it, was almost relevant in that trade, although he did a great, great comeback week, which shout out to Christian Watson's dad and not having a high ankle sprain. Oh. <laughs> Fuck Dr. Jesse Morse. I don't even think Twitters. that guy's a real doctor. I think he's Christian Watson. Anybody can buy a coat. I'm still I'm still big on Christian Watson. Obviously, he's in a very, Which, very I don't I don't, I, don't play, I mean that play and then Jordan Love like threw him open. It was a perfect throw. Like that's what you get from Christian Watson. And if he can do that and be healthy, well that's that, what that's what Christian gonna Watson's fire. gonna need to be right. until he can stay healthy enough to establish himself a role on that team. Because yeah. right now the role is for Jaden Reed. Yeah. That's the role they have established. Everything else sort of up in the air. Dove still. Um, yeah, Dubs, Dubs got the, the squeaky wheel grease there for this, sure. This he got the squeaky wheel grease, and he's got the. I mean, they got the quarterback that can distribute. That's why all off season long, I was doing the stock up Jordan Love game when we did the stock up uh, Eagles quarterback Jalen Hurts last year. You know when mm-hmm. they when they got all the other when they got uh, AJ Brown and and got Devonta Smith and this and this and it's like you you keep getting these pieces. You stock up the quarterback, and but Jaden Reed is obviously an absolute stud, but. Packers have a ton of ton of talent. All right. Well, let's wrap this one up. Got a little tea talk in there at the end. Wanted to squeeze some Drake May talk in, but we'll count. We'll, we'll, we'll table that for, for next em. week. 
Uh, we'll talk a little Drake May. Drake, life over really, there. at the end of the day, just Drake May has done what Andy Dalton is doing right now and making your skill positions outside of relevant. Ramondre Stevens relevant. So if you want to go try to buy low on Douglas or Pol- obviously Douglas just had a big day, but you he know, still ain't gonna cost nothing. Probably not gonna cost a ton, but like he, what he's gonna do is make this offense. They're not gonna. I'm not saying they're gonna win games. I'm not saying he's gonna look pretty all the time. But there, there was no. Maybe Hunter Henry might be relevant for you with Jacoby Brissett in there. He's but, not even. You can't even count on him. Right, right. That's what I'm saying. You couldn't count on anybody. But now all of a sudden, Hunter Henry had one huge game, and but Brissett couldn't get it to anybody. Now all of a sudden, May operated that offense, got first downs, moves the chains, and they played Houston, which is a good team, which is an odd choice. To play against, right. we, you know, right. I you dis- could have played Jacksonville the next week, but yeah, I disagreed with the timing to put him in. But I definitely, but it really could work in their favor. Hey, you just saw the Texans. Now you survived, and now we're on to Jacksonville, and you might you might see a nice leap True. from May from week to hey, week we, two. we gave you yeah. a tough one. Now, yeah, it comes a much easier Jags one. D not terrible, but if if the, if they the team quit. doesn't quit, but they're, yeah, they're quitting. All right. Be sure to uh, like, subscribe, five star review if you haven't. If you, it helps us out tremendously. Please just click the button, and hit that five star review. Help your boys out if you're if you're not doing anything else with the five dollar holler or the free or or any uh, subscribing and watching on YouTube. Give me the five star review. Tap it in, baby. Just you don't go, have to say anything. Just, just go just ahead tap and tap it. it in. It's all in the hips. Are you too good for your home? We got a five dollar Patreon. You get an extra episode every week. We got all sorts of stuff over there. We got a Discord channel. We got a free Discord channel. Be sure to check all that out if you haven't. And I, I wanted to hit you with the beginning in the beginning, so I'll hit it with the at the end. If you live in the Charleston area and you're interested in dynasty fantasy football and you're all about this life, hit us up on the Twitters or on the Instagram or or shoot us an email. We're, we we might be looking for a local guy here to get on the team and and start bringing something to the table. We 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 love we would love a local guy to be inundated. I you know might just be getting his coffee. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> we're we're looking for you. We know you're out there. So so hit us up and we'll we'll, we'll do it on on another show in, in a little bit more in the beginning. But uh, if you are in, I like it. Charleston I like that area. it's at the end. I like that it's at the end because you if if you if you listen to the end, I like I say that all the time. If you've listened this far, it's you know like if you're if you're if you're about it and you still and you got this far, you deserve to hear this. Yeah, we'd like to be able to do stuff in person. Everything wouldn't need to be in person. Obviously, we, we, there'd be a whole bunch of vetting and we'd people have to do a, people. We'd, people help people. We'd have to do a lot of, there'd be a lot of steps before <laughs> you were in. A lot of vetting. <laughs> <laughs> but we would love an, a, a, a local guy, I would say, or gal, but let's face it, there's probably no women listening to this show. It's like 1%, I mean, if you're in Charleston. Yeah. If you're hot. <laughs> Settle down. Better. better Settle. The- Saddle, 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 saddle. <laughs> All right. You have to have a good voice. I yeah. love that. Actually, that doesn't even really... A lot of people don't have good voices over here spewing whatever. Yeah. As long as the title's good. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Title, thumbnail, <laughs> you know. Or you're just an entertainer. Yeah. <laughs> as long as you're having a lot of I'm fun. I'm here to entertain you. I'm an entertainer. We're just having fun. Just having fun. You just know? having we fun. We said it. Woo-hoo. That's what we're doing. Gerald's tires. Right. You, you know what I'm talking about. Locals. We're out of here. We'll catch you next time. Peace. <laughs>